So you wanted to get started with an actual brand slider into your actual store of Shopify. I'm gonna show you how to get started totally for free. So there's two things you needed to get started with. First of all, to choose a brand slider application. So this is the first step to choose a brand slider from the Shopify app store. You can explore options like the brand slider, the uh, brand slider and logo showcases. To find it out, let's open a new tab. Let's go directly here into Shopify. And then what you wanted to do is to sign into your store. Once you are into the dashboard of your store, you can locate the applications into the left pod, go into the upper side and go for brand slide. So I can open a new tab that's gonna be sending me directly into the application into the app store of the Shopify. And you can find there's a lot of applications. Usually what I wanted to do is to just get started with an uh, whatever application you wanted to, but in this case, I'm gonna show, show you something much more amazing called the Elf site. Now, Elf site is an actual application that was created for people who wanted to get started here with some stuff, for example, from Shopify, and you can do so much more. Uh, totally easy and of course there are just one or two things that you can get started with for free but if you wanted to let's say add more than two or three elements directly from L side directly into your store this might be taking an extra cost but today what I wanted to do is to show you an actual brand slider that we can add in a very easy way totally for free with L side so first of all let's want to get started with the dashboard of the L side sign in in this case, I look out for slides and I selected the one that says logo slider. So it's gonna be popping up this new section where I can just get started with the header. Now directly here, it says assume if our clients, let's say trusted by, I go back and I have the logos. Now here into my logos, what I can do is to add my own custom logos. So what I wanna be doing here is just to select my elements, which in this case, I only have three of them, and I'm gonna be copying it and paste it in here. If you don't have logos, what you can do is just to go directly here into Google, for example, and try to find out uh, which one can be helpful for you, but I can strongly suggest you to look out for logos that are PNG. Uh, let's say logos that don't have an actual background. So hit into save, go back into the elf side, and check out when I just drag and drop this logo and I do exactly the same thing with the rest of them so as you can see you can make this uh, smaller or larger I'm gonna hit now into done and I can add more more logos so once again make sure that the logos that you are actually uploading are PNG files that don't have an actual background so you can just move around the only logo so you can play around with the actual logo and not the actual background because it's gonna be looking not that good so after you have just imported all the actual logos that you wanted to import into your slider, I'm gonna hit now and to create the widget. So as you can see, this is the actual widget that we are actually making. Uh, this is something actually really simple, really easy. You can do so much better than I'm doing here. This is just a demonstration, right? So now here, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four elements that I can just get started with. I'm gonna try to make this a little bit much more big enough and hit now into done. I can change the layout, for example, in this, this like a curso, I can focus into like a ticket or focus only into a grid. Let's focus into the actual uh, ticket. The logo size, I'm gonna try to make this, let's say big enough, a little bit bigger. So now what I wanted to do is to use this showcase of my logo and install it directly into Shopify. Let's install this. First of all, what you wanted to do, of course, is to sign into your Shopify store and go into online store so you can edit and add it to your actual element. Now what I want to be doing here is to go directly into Elfside and hit into install. Now in this case, I'm going to choose free, of course. And there we go. Now it's going to be showing us uh, different tutorials where I can just get started with. Usually what you just need to do is to copy and paste this code into the desired place of your website. So usually you can go here and to copy the code, go into your Shopify store. Let's go into customize. And directly here, I'm going to focus into where I wanted to import my actual element. Let's say, for example, let's assume that I wanted to add it, let's say, a little bit down from the image banner. So I'm going to add a new block, and this one should be a custom liquid. This custom liquid, I'm going to go here into liquid code, and I'm going to paste the code that was generated for us directly into the actual app side. And I'm going to hit now into save. Lastly, what I'm going to be doing here is to go into the three dots and go for view. Now here I have the actual view 
you can see that we have now a website. I scroll a little bit down, and as you can see here is my Axiom Batched. Now, of course, what I need to do is to try to add more elements. I can just focus and try to center this. And of course, I can close this widget because I don't need to see this. But of course, this one should be, uh, let's say, into the basic plan. But this is just like a very easy and fasted way to how you can get started to adding your actual element directly into your store. And well, guys, there you have it. Hopefully, this was a very uh, useful, easy, and of course, faster solution for you to want to add like a slider here into the Shopify. So thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.